Alrighty, welcome to a Saturday. Hope you're having a good weekend. It's a big game today. They're going to get away with it. It'll be a few scattered showers, but it's going to be one of those hit and miss things. We had a lot of rain over the last few days. We'll look at that. Russian River has come way up. Never, don't worry, it's going to be fine. It's going to pulse down. It already is starting to go down. Um, but it's it's been a really awesome storm to watch and even be a part of. And my, my tenure in the area, I've never seen an area like Santa Rosa get that much rain in that short amount of time. Now, I've seen the coastal hills, Marin County. I've seen those numbers. But you'll see some of these numbers over the last three and a half days. And it's, 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 it's awe-inspiring. And it's awesome because, quite frankly, I said this yesterday. This is California. This is California weather. This is what's supposed to happen. And, oh, by the way, if it didn't happen, the lead story tonight on the news would be, where's the rain? California drought, right? This is what's supposed to happen. And the best part is we got this rain at a good time. Like the Russian River was low. It's all the way up now. It'll come back down quickly. But we could, we got a lot of rain in the big surface reservoirs. We got Shasta and Orville. We're in the bullseye of this thing. Those are your two largest surface reservoirs. Are you kidding me? Kind of like, and so, so much of our water, we're accused of, you know, one of the problems, you know, some people say is we have too much water that runs back into the ocean. I, I don't, I disagree with that. I think the water needs to run back to the ocean for fish and for wildlife and for habitat. But in this case, that's Orville Shasta thing. Those guys load it up on water, man. I mean, that water ain't going to the ocean. That water's going in to fill those things. Um, so, okay, so we got that to talk about. We'll look at some light pictures. We'll look at the snow in the mountains, winter storm warning. There's other stuff too. Okay, so uh, here is the system. It's awesome. That's what's left of it. And then here's the Sierra Nevada. Winter storm warning up there for a few days. And that's because the storms are going to come through the Bay Area, which is we're right here. The storms are going to come through the Bay Area and they're going to do what they're doing today. A little shower here, a little shower there. There'll be a little more of that tomorrow as well. And then a little, again, I think on Wednesday next week, we'll look at that in the computer model. But I guess what I'm, I'm getting at is um, the mountains are going to really, the next few days will be the story. As everything else will seem, will seem to be more nuisance showers. This is the Russian River uh, at Guerneville or near Guerneville. Um, I guess what I can show you here is the river peaked a little while ago. That is right at, a, at the high end of minor and right below moderate flood stage. So, and then you can see the forecast is for it to drop down. You also see the rain coming in. This was the rain prior to now. And that's what that's went into that drainage basin, which by the way, the Russian River drainage basin, 1,500 square miles approximately. It's huge. So with all, think about that, Ukiah, if you've ever been up on 101, all that, all that drainage funnels down. It doesn't all go out the Russian River, but the majority of it does. And it has to go out through that little gap at Jenner. So the Russian River just pulls right up this morning, peaked and should be coming down now. Um, we will see uh, the, well, by this afternoon, it won't be, you know, the flood levels will have, have dropped. The flood warning or the flood watch will stay in effect for a little while longer. And we will um, look forward to letting that river calm down. Okay, so let's see. I got these are these are rainfall totals. This is from the CNFRC California River Forecast Center. And I guess the first thing I want to show you is the colors represent the rainfall intensity. So the, first of all, let's look at climatology. This is California. I know that's hard to look at, but you see the bullseye. Bullseye right in here. That's where, that's Santa Rosa, basically. Over the course of a couple days, two or three days, Santa Rosa, over 15, 17 inches of rain. I'll come further south. More than Clear Lake, even. Look at this. There's the bullseye. That's Santa Rosa. 14 inches. These are in and abouts. 15 inches. And then you go further south towards Petaluma, and you're yeah, a poultry, 8 inches, 7 inches. And then you get back to Marin, where you expect the Marin water, uh, the Marin headlands to scoop up that water and, and create more rain, which they often do, but still less than Santa Rosa, which is an indication of that core of the atmospheric river, the little kid with the fire hose pointed right over it, right over Santa Rosa, Sebastopol, Occidental, those numbers are incredibly high. And then yesterday we had the incredible for, to, for good luck to have that system translate through the rest of the Bay Area. Remember everybody down here not getting rain. 
not get, I mean, some, right? Quarter inch, three quarter, but nothing compared to what was happening up there. This thing tilted and went through yesterday and dropped three, two, three inches of rain on the Central Bay Area up around Berkeley and Oakland Hills. And then San Jose got about an inch, but a half inch. And again, these are areas, had that big weather event, the Santa Rosa thing, had that happened further south? it would have been a mess. Well, you saw what happened last night in Berkeley with the flood advisories and the flood warnings, flash flood warnings, because the infrastructure just loads up. We have such, so much concrete, so much urban center. Up there, they got a road, they got, they got flood plains. They're set up for, for, for moving a lot of water around. We, on the other hand, are not. So it's very fortunate that the rain did not come, our, come um, the, the bullseye wasn't this far south. And again, where's your res where are your reservoirs? Lake Sonoma, Pillsbury. Shasta, Orville, they're all up there. So that's awesome. So here are some of our other rain tools. I hope I'm not going too fast through this. It's just, uh, it's fun to see. And that's a River Forecast Center product. I'm going to link that to my page because I know I get a lot of asks for that. Uh, this is this morning. It uh, looking north kind of towards us. I think that's Lagunitas, Lake Lagunitas. I think it's Lake Lagunitas, looking up towards, kind of like you're in Marin County looking to the north. And just a beautiful morning. Um, and today's one of those days, you see that rainbow? Today's one of those days where you're going to be dodging raindrops, but you'll be able to get out if you want to get on the horse, if you want to go um, ride the bike a little, you know, it's fire roads probably because it's muddy, but you'll be able to get stuff done, especially more towards the afternoon. There'll be showers, but just brave it. If you're anything like me, you're going nuts. I just, I mean, I really, I spent all day yesterday in the, inside which was kind of fun watching the weather, but uh, I, two days in a row that crushed me. Okay, here's the model. This is the rest of today. And you can see where we are, and it just kind of fizzles out. Now here we get into tomorrow. There's see a few scattered sprinkles possible, and then a couple more, and then this is the rest of the week into Thanksgiving. So I know I'm just toggling through because I'm not sure how accurate it is, but it is a good, um, it's a good sign that will be not out of control. Looks like they're not chaining up yet. They are. This is uh, Whitmore grade, Placer, eight, near Placer County, uh, 80 westbound. They're moving pretty good. It's going to get, the snow levels are going to get lowered up there pretty soon. And they're going to have, uh, they're going to have some issues later on this afternoon. This is uh, East Bound, Soda Springs. Let's see, something says closed right there, right? But I'm seeing track cars moving. Not sure what's closed, but they're starting. It looks like, and the other thing I noticed too is it's starting to stick to the sign more. Temperatures in Truckee right now are like in the mid 30s, so just above freezing. Temperatures here are in the upper, upper, not 20s, but like 32, 33 degrees. So they're right on the edge of being, um, of being snowy. And in Truckee, right there, you go. That's downtown Truckee, or not downtown Truckee. That's the bridge over the. Um, uh, the big Truckee River and a little sun's out, right? A little snow flurry temperature there, about 34 degrees right now. So we are in a holding pattern for, uh, you know, in terms of the big rain for a little while now. We're going to have scattered showers. At least that's how it looks for the next couple of days on and off, but nothing like what we had. So uh, overall, on a scale of one to 10, from what I, this storm is awesome. And not only that, in terms of water for what the state really needs and what, 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 this, what this is really all about is, is capturing water, uh, the big reservoirs, um, the local reservoirs, and now the mountains are getting snow, winter storm warning in effect up there for a few days. They're going to keep it in effect for a few days. It could come up, it could go down, but they're going to get a couple feet of snow. This is early. This is, this is, you know, Thanksgiving is coming up, but this is early to have a couple feet of snow like this. So there you go. That's a quick look. I hope you have a good day. Uh, drive safe. If you're going to the mountains, just check road conditions. Okay, see you back here.